30th of March 2012 is a day that will forever remain firmly etched in the minds and hearts of this family. A day when they lost their beloved husband and father, 44-year-old Eliud Chirchiriego, a surveyor based in Eldred, whose body was found dumped in a village in Bureti constituency. The DCIO actually is the one who called me and he told me that uh, he was asking me whether I was actually by the name Roman Ayago and I told him yes. So he asked me, Am I know, do I know somebody by the name Eliud Kipchirchiriego? So I said yes. So he was like, um, there's some bad news here which has happened and I just wanted to let you know and if it is possible you can come and identify the body. The mother of four says she has no clue as to who took her husband's life and why they did it. But apparently her husband was slain by a person whose job is to maintain law and order, an administration policeman. A group of detectives from the Flying Squad Nairobi area who have been working on the case have now managed to nab the key suspect in the murder. Eric. One Eric Macau, a husband and a father of two, also said to be a policeman. Surprisingly, Macau is candid, almost remorseless. Naskari, aka comply. Nika mwambia mi nataka ni kuandie officially. Police station, gani una prefer? Kiricho. Nja kiricho najua. Aka niambia yeku, nja ni mekuja na ayo. Nika mweka pingwa kaka nyuma waifa. Waifa najua, anajua ni kuhamd. Waifa likuwa najua. So, ujamaa tukaenda. Tukaenda, sikujua kama tumifika yyo mali na ito hivyo. Aka niambia si mama. Mamma, <laughs> Macau says he has always suspected that his wife was having an affair and had warned her lover over the phone several times. But it was not until that fateful Friday, the 30th of March, when he was tipped off by one of his friends as to the whereabouts of his wife and the company she was keeping. That day, as the interview progresses, he keeps on referring to his wife as a famous person and we get curious, eager to know the identity of his wife. My wife is famous. She is famous and I have a lot of people who are in Her name is Diana Chelele, a 30 year old popular Kalenjin secular artist who in one of her songs ironically cautions a certain man to stop giving gossip to her husband. <laughs> Macau alleges that his wife has been having an affair with a slain Yego for some time and the matter had caused friction in the marriage. But according to Yego's wife of 22 years, the alleged infidelity is news to her because he was a very loving husband and a father. Generally, he was okay, responsible, and, and just doing his, 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 his duties as a father. Macau, an orphan and the sole breadwinner to his three siblings, has confessed to the murder and is not remorseful but still begs for forgiveness from Yego's family. <laughs> na wakitaka kusikia wangu ndawaeleza na wakitaka wataniamini ndio baba yao ayuko but sisi sema he was a bad dad lakini mtu atosheke tu na kwake i just set up my mind to forgive whoever it was yeah so we just forgive him Though initial investigations show that this could have been a crime of passion his close friends and relatives believe that he may have been set up he must have put him in a position to be able to shoot him from, 
Sa mga niya, niya, kasi kung si da wants. How many times? Once. I think it was once, cause it went straight. I think it just meant to kill. After the incident, Macau says he drove Yego's car to his rural home in Guata village in Kibwezi, where he removed the tires and hid the vehicle after covering it with a black polythene under a tree. Both Macau and Chelele are currently under police custody in Litain, Bureti district. They are expected in court in the coming week. Michael Njenga, Citizen TV, Nairobi. Go, Wendy, go